right, guys, so it's official. Yep, the official polls are in for the name of the puffer. And we have a winner. It is, you want to you want to say it? <laughs> Shakita. Shakita. Or Shakita. Shakita? <laughs> Shakita. No, just kidding. It it's is Shakita. Shakita, like the banana. We're going to talk to Joe right now and give us some insight on what we got. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's time. We named the fish, actually the name that you picked, right? Chiquita. Yes. That's the one. That's the one. Better it? than Vicks. <laughs> <laughs> so, everyone's asking about the other fish. So can you tell us a little bit more about this fish-only yeah. system and, and what other residents are here? Yeah. So this is our fish-only right here behind the register here in the store. It's 130 inches long by 30 wide and 36 tall. So we've added about two groups of fish so far, and, you know, the Puffer always stands out, and then I can show you what else we got. We have a hyphen snapper. We've got a bicolor goatfish. We have a really cool pair of nasos that will swim with each other all the way across the tank. A uh, hybrid Achilles tang gets a lot of attention in this tank. From Christmas Islands, we have the black tang. And then we have a small half black mimic. And then farther down, we've got a really nice queen angel here. So far, she goes by Carlos. That's been the, the name for her since we got her in here. And then that's all the fish right there. And then we have a large Hawaiian Achilles as well, right there. And we have a zebra eel as well that likes to hide unless he's getting fed. You and you, see him down here. you hand feed that one, right? Yeah, he comes right out and you just hand it to him. Now, did I hear correctly we got a goat fish in here? It's kind of a strange looking it's fish, the, isn't it? Yeah, it's got the little whiskers hanging down below <laughs> the mouth, which is really cool. He's kind of an interesting looking fish. Yeah, if well, you guys don't know what a goat fish is, uh, you should definitely read up about him. He actually works with the puffer and uh, hunts at, at night and threw out the sand with his whiskers and the puffer will blow the sand around looking for crustaceans in the sand. It's pretty cool. And what can you tell us about the filtration of the tank? So we just have a stock tank as a sump, and then we're running an 80 watt UV sterilizer and an external reef octopus skimmer. Pretty simple. The benefits of the fish only is we run different medications. So we can run CP, prosy, uh, copper, whenever we introduce new fish to keep them healthy. And then if we ever want to move fish, we know they're good to go. We can always scoop them out and throw them somewhere else. And what do you guys do for like maintenance for the tank? Um, we just magnet the glass every day. Luckily, it stays pretty clean. Uh, the big UV on there. And then besides that, once a week, we'll get in there and scrub it down the back walls. But the rocks stay really clean in this tank. The skimmer does a good job. And the lights are turned up pretty high. And it's still not growing too much algae. So I'm pretty happy with it so far. What about water changes? Um, we do about 25% a week. So about 150 gallons a week. Oh, are you looking to add anybody else in or oh, yeah. any future residents we plan on doing? Yeah, we'll take, we'll take requests too if anybody has any cool fish they want to throw on the fish only. But uh, yeah, some more big angels, maybe a school of butterflies would be kind of cool. Maybe some uh, harlequin tusk would be nice. That'd be a nice one to add on to it. Thank you, Joe. We guys uh, appreciate you checking us out again. Really love to show you some more stuff around here. And if you guys have any Anything you want to add to it, just uh, let us know and we'll, we'll do our best to include it in the next video.